My name is Kurt Wallace. I've recently taken on a uh, Muslim name as Khalid. Um, I was raised in a Jehovah's Witness family and uh, qu quite strict, quite strict, but uh, I grew up a pretty regular lifestyle considering my religious upbringing. And we, uh, yeah, it was very, very simple, basic lifestyle as every Kiwi gets. Um, as we got older, we sort of, uh, our parents, as a family, they broke up and uh, got divorced and we were living in Northland and we moved down to Taranaki and uh, sort of been in and out of Taranaki ever since. But as children, we, uh, we lived the normal lifestyle once, once we, our parents broke up and uh, yeah, so it ended up, we played football and rugby and uh, did all the usual things a Kiwi child does. And, uh, but the religion seemed to disappear from our lives. So, um, and we always, well, personally, I felt we had a lot of questions, you know, left to answer. Um, and I couldn't seem to find the answers. Uh, I went into farming for many, many years. And uh, I also started to study the Bible to try and get a better understanding. As, as my father was still a devout Jehovah's Witness and had been for over 50 years, I, I felt very obliged to at least... Uh, examine it under under a great deal of scrutiny and uh, find out what, what, what he really believed. And uh, yeah, then a lot of truths from what he believed came to light and opened up even more fundamental questions for me. Um, yeah, it was, it was quite difficult because I couldn't find the answers that I personally was looking for. Um, and whenever I raised these key questions, I couldn't get a straight answer from anybody. It seemed to go round and round in circles. And they often seemed confused, and I thought, well, this can't be the truth. Surely if it was a, any religion was a true religion, and, and to me, if the Bible was as, re, as reliable as what it, what it was made out to be, um, I should get a straight answer, or at least it seemed that way to me. Uh, so I came across a TV program one day, and uh, it was just random. I, I'd become very disheartened with religion, but still very spiritual, but I uh, just couldn't find anything to lock onto. And, yeah, the TV program was uh, a lot of Arabic words, which I now know as Arabic. At the time, I didn't. I had no idea what it was. Uh, it, it really hit home with me. Uh, yeah, it just, it's, it's hard to describe. It, it, it overwhelmed me with curiosity to begin with. And uh, at the end of this little program, I'd only caught the end of it, it mentioned uh, that I could order a Quran. And I thought, well, this... I want to know more at least about the history because what I've heard so far in this short space of time has really got me wanting to know more. So there I went. I investigated, uh, ordered the Quran, and it came with some other uh, very useful books. And I, I read them first because the Quran looked like a bit too much to chew at the time. Um, and I wanted to get the basic gist of things. And uh, from that point, yeah, when, when the books arrived, I read them and Within 20 minutes of reading, these big questions I had had were answered. And I, w I was stunned for a little while. <laughs> I didn't really know what to do. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, after reading these books, I knew very soon that I had to do something about this because it felt like a blessing to have this sort of calmness over me. I knew no Muslims. I barely knew anything about it, you know, the difference between culture and religion and all this. And all I knew was everything they had told us on TV about terrorism and, and all these dreadful stories that you hear. Uh, completely untrue, like from a religious point of view. It's nothing like that at all. It's beautiful and it's peaceful. One, one of the key questions I, I had, um, well, a lot of them weren't so much as questions, just didn't seem to stack up in my mind. Uh, I, I couldn't believe the fact that Adam was punished for eating of the fruit. Adam and Eve were punished, as, as the original story goes, and this covers most of the uh, sects of uh, Christianity. And um, yet we all suffer for his sin. 
than their sin, and, and it made no sense to me for it to go like that. And, and I heard many different tweaks of the story, and, but at the end of the day, it still didn't sit right with me. It didn't make perfect sense, and it all seemed very unfair that we're all suffering for one man's sin. And, you know, it's like born into sin, yet, yeah, it didn't seem to make sense that we're all so heavily punished for something that we're sort of condemned to for, to begin with. So it didn't really add up. That was one of my key questions. Also, I struggled to believe that God, with his awesome and almighty unlimited power, know all, see all, do all, um, could possibly need to sacrifice his own son for our sins when it was within his power to just wipe our slate clean if that was his will. And I couldn't see it. It seemed uh, very belittling to his power to me to have to sacrifice his son. I thought, well, that doesn't make any sense either. <laughs> but this is, yeah. So these are, the, these are the two key questions that really led me to uh, not dedicate my life to a religion until I came to Islam. Because, yeah, I, I thought if it doesn't make sense... I can't hold it. I've sort of been. It's it's all or nothing. You know. It's got to it's got to make complete sense. I can't have doubt because if I have doubt, it'll just gnaw away at me, and yeah, it'll it'll devour me. And uh, so, but I was very blessed, uh, Alhamdulillah, to come to Islam and 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 be guided here. And once I came to Islam, everything seemed to sit into place. You know, my questions that I had uh, with my search through Christianity was answered very very quickly. Um, regarding uh, Adam and Eve and the story as it went because uh, it's basically the opposite. We're not all punished for their sins and that they had opportunity to make up for their sins as do we. And um, the beautiful thing I found out when, when I first read the book was that uh, uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, um, he wasn't the son of God and it was just this one simple thing and I just got overwhelmed with this feeling of it made complete sense. He wasn't his son. The answer was right there all along. And it was simple. It wasn't complicated. I didn't need all these various different answers and, and, and uh, analogies and statements such as God works in mysterious ways and have a little faith. And yeah, it just frustrated me. But the answer was simple. And it was so simple. And it was from that point I knew that uh, I had to become a Muslim. My first point, I had to find some Muslims and um, go from there because I was still very unsure. Um, I, I had read that I had to do a testimony of faith and I needed witnesses for this. So that was my next step was to find some, some Muslims and uh, go on with the next step. When, when I uh, embraced Islam, I, I did keep to myself for quite some time, but I had the benefit. I was on the farm, working on the farm as well, so it was, it was very much trying to balance my lifestyle at the time of working and coming into town as often as possible to visit the masjid. It was all very exciting, and uh, I, was, I was full of uh, zealousness. And uh, uh, my friends and family, my friends were actually very supportive uh, um, Surprisingly enough, yeah, yeah, like you keep a very small handful of close friends throughout your life and, and eventually they fall away, but over time, once they got over their shock, but th the shock basically comes down to what, what people see on TV and things like that, you know, like if, if one of us were to convert to being a Christian or, or something similar, the, I don't think the shock would be so great. It's mostly what, what people see on TV that really shocks them. My mother... Um, she was hysterical. She uh, cried and cried and rung me up and she was very upset. And I didn't tell her personally because I wanted to have the answers. I didn't feel very educated on many topics and I knew there'd be 101 questions. So I, I was doing a lot of studying at the time and, into Islam so that I could have all these answers to prepare, be prepared for her. And uh, she saw the announcement I made on Facebook after doing my testimony of faith. And um, it took a little while for her to even see it, but uh, yeah, it, it was quite funny looking back on it now. I feel quite sorry for her, but um, she, once she found out the details, I gave her some, some literature, and um, her heart opened up, mostly to begin with, so she could understand why I had made such a move, because she couldn't understand it, and she wanted to. She really did want to. 
because um, she's a kind, loving mother, as most Kiwi mothers are. And uh, it seemed like a huge change. And she just, worst case scenario, pictured everything that she'd seen on television and, and uh, what they broadcast on the news and things like this. So, But Alhamdulillah, she, she looked into it and uh, three months ago, she did her testimony of faith as well. She, she came across the same love and overwhelming emotion that I did, that this, this was the truth. Uh, she, she's had a very spiritual upbringing as well. Um, she was raised very similar. So, um, yeah, we're very blessed. I feel it's a miracle, the fact that uh, not only have I found uh, the true religion, and it makes perfect sense, that uh, my mother, I've been blessed with my mother as well. Uh, my father, he, although he's still a, still a devout Jehovah's Witness, um, we've come to a mutual respect over religion. He's uh, very long in the tooth with his religion. Um, he, he often shares a lot of information with me, but basically uh, he hasn't been able to come up with anything that, that contests my faith with the answers that I've been able to give him. Um, so he's sort of retired in so many ways so that he's not trying to challenge my faith and things like that. He's very stuck in his ways and I do pray that he, his heart will be opened one day and he will also accept Islam. But uh, yeah, yeah, inshallah, he is, um, he's very supportive even, even after 50 years of a different, different religion. So he's learnt a lot, he's learnt a lot because he admitted at the beginning that he knew nothing of Islam or very little. So he's, he's still learning. He's still uh, reading the Quran to try and find out more. But uh, alhamdulillah, he, he can't find anything too major that, that will upset him regarding my uh, becoming a Muslim. Yeah. Islam changed my life in many ways. Um, mostly outwardly, I think, to begin with. Uh, learning the different practices and the beginning was was tricky because there's a lot of culture as well different cultures so I did a lot of research and um, it, it turned out very good uh, like I've always been a very spiritual person very much believed and often it was misdirected as I was growing up uh, and yeah it just gave me a, a complete peace in my life and little things that you do, you know, like people do normal things like tell little white lies during the day, just little stuff that seems insignificant. It just started to seem significant, little things. And I've gained, I've actually become closer with my friends over time, some friends, non-Muslim friends. Uh, and over time, they're asking questions about Islam as well because they've noticed the changes in me. Um, the, the only real difference is I don't swear and I don't drink and I don't do all these things that, that I used to do when I was younger. Um, but they don't see that as a negative anymore. So it's, it's, uh, it's a really good thing and inshallah they'll, they'll continue to ask these questions and, and I'll be able to answer them. It's, it's very much the same in life now as far as day-to-day -day activities. I mean, uh, I've slotted in the five prayers, of course, but uh, as far as everything I need to do during the day, you know, like we still do things with the children, go to the beach, the difference is I might not go down to the local pub or bottle store anymore, um, and I don't attend parties, but uh, with alcohol that is, uh, you know, friendly family barbecues and things like that, you know, they're all still on and we still enjoy the summer just like every regular Kiwi family, and uh, go away on holiday, all the normal things, but uh, yeah, we just have Islam watching over us as, as a whole, you know, Islam is in it. It is our life, and but life goes on as normal. You just have that peace and love in your heart, and uh, you just have a feeling everything's going to be okay. All the stresses of life, they don't seem so great, but uh, as far as it goes, life's fairly normal. It doesn't change too much. I've been blessed. I have two beautiful girls. Uh, one's six and the other one's almost three. That They, they have really enjoyed the, the, the path so far of Islam, um, they're learning so much. The beautiful thing is uh, when you hear your daughters saying things like Bismillah before they eat and they've just picked up on these little things and, and, and it really warms the heart. Uh, and, and when they pray, that, that's an amazing thing to see, see young children praying. They, they absolutely love Islam. 
you know, um, they've made many new friends. And I have the blessing that I know that they're going to be quality friends rather than uh, to be led astray down to different paths and things, like I was as a youngster, and I guess many Kiwis are. But uh, as far as children goes, there's, there's no stigma here for them. that They love it. Raising my girls, Islam, uh, I, I thought I would have challenges, but... Uh, not really. I haven't really had any challenges. People were very open and accepting when they're children. They seem to be a little bit more scornful and shocked when you when you're a grown up and and they see you change. But as children, they see they see the harmony with it. You know, they're so happy, and yeah, it's just it has no conflict with regular children. Children still be children. They do the regular things. They just they just learn better morals and ethics. And this world's falling apart. It really is. So to have something to ground the children like that. It's a, it's a real blessing, it really is. Uh, Islam has a lot of things to offer, a wide variety of people. Uh, You've got got the blessing of of, of close kinship with people, uh, and, and you know these are complete strangers, and and they'll really care for you and be loving and kind. But it's it's more than just a feeling of them having to, you know. It, it's just peace. It's complete peace, and it's a it's a wonderful place to to bring your family and uh, to know that they're going to be safe and secure. Uh, it, and basically, to sum up what Islam can offer people, those people out there who us very spiritual, but they always have these questions, and, and even if they don't have the questions, but they have a underlying feeling that they don't have the truth, and they really desire the truth. Seriously, look up Islam, find out about it, even do it with an open heart, just for the sole purpose of, of finding out what it's really about, and you'll be amazed what you'll find. <laughs> Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen